Does it say we're live? It says we're it live. Okay. Meeting is now streaming live. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? Hey, um, we are live on Facebook with uh, with my business partners in Little Legacy Library and our amazingly talented illustrators in the Little Legacy Library. Kevin Jackson, Derek Brennan, and then you got Kate Bratz, who kind of fell off the wagon with getting dressed and makeup and all that stuff. <laughs> <I'm Whoa>. getting... <laughs> Erin at least still put on her makeup. Authenticity here. Erin still put on her makeup, but she's wearing a bunch of workout clothes. So it's really just like here up that she is still on board. And I know she's falling off the wagon quick too. The video number three, she's not going to have makeup on. I promise you. I didn't realize Aaron's these were going to be like a, a roast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting. I was like, oh man, what's he going to say about me? Though? Yeah, yeah. Hey, so <laughs> let, let me music. introduce Kate you to my friend Derek Brent. Oh, that's good. What's up? <laughs> I said, Kate Say doesn't Aaron? need any of it. Yeah. Oh. You guys are so nice. Well, I'm not wearing makeup either, Erin. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's obvious. Yes. Me. Yeah. <laughs> it helps. Myself together. It's fine. All right, all right, all right. So we, we're here with our illustrators. We want to talk to you guys about how to illustrate a kid's book. So if you guys haven't already hopped on uh, littlelegacylibrary.com, we have these awesome books for Ooh. kids that are based on a lot of the... Um, classical personal development books. So the first one is based off of Think and Grow Rich. And it's all about goal setting. And it's all about uh, obsessing over a goal and making sure you achieve that goal. And you have to overcome struggles and overcome hurdles and overcome uh, uh, obstacles and uh, sacrifice some things that you really do care about in order to um, get what you really, really care about. And so it's a really amazing book. My amazing wife and my amazing friend, Aaron, wrote it. And then our amazing illustrators obviously drew the picture. So I want to introduce you guys to them and hear about their story, how they got started in illustrating um, or, or uh, art, I guess, all together and all the different kind of cool, crazy stuff that they do and how this is the first kid's book that they've ever done, which yeah. is wild because they've done such an amazing job. So um, Kevin Jackson out of Atlanta. What's going on, dude? What's up? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, man. Appreciate you being here. Of course. Of course. No problem. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and Derek Brennan out of Cleveland. Hey guys, how's it going? What's going Happy on? To be here. So, real quick, I'll introduce how we how we got to meet, and then uh, I want to hear a little bit about each of your guys' story. So, I uh, uh, I live in Cleveland, right? And our house is in like one of the southern suburbs, and my office is in the first suburb west of Cleveland. So I was driving to work one day, uh, or to the office one day, and. Uh, I stop at, it was on uh, Warren and Detroit, and there's this mural there uh, in Lakewood, Ohio. And I look over, I'm sitting at a red light. I was like, oh, I like the, the colors and I like how it all pops and all this stuff. And I know nothing about art, right? But I'm like, it, it's visually appealing. So this guy must be pretty good. And so I, I took a picture of it. And my brother lives in, in this community in Lakewood and he's knows a bunch of people and uh, I said hey man do you know who the illustrator was of uh of this art mural and he's like oh yeah I think that was Derek Brennan and blah 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 and I was like do you know him he's like yeah I, I can probably connect you guys and so somehow like my brother connected us we got oh, wow. an email yeah. email together right it was, it was Troy right so uh, we got an email together and I was like hey man here's the story here's what we're doing we want to just write uh some kids books and I'm looking for an illustrator I would love to have somebody local to Cleveland illustrate these books and um I don't know. Must have said some some good influential things because <laughs> Derek was on board from the get go. And, uh, but you no, know, it was it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. So the mural was of that Tim saw was of uh, children. I think they had they were like sailors. They um, he sent us the picture originally, and we were like, this guy is so crazy talented. Um, if we could snatch him up, that would be amazing and it was just crazy how it worked out so a little context like Kate and I were in the process of finding an illustrator at the time and oh, okay. we don't again first time we've ever known exactly what we're doing there's a lot of like websites you can go to to find illustrators editors all the things book related and you know you can find and have illustrators that way um and so Kate and I were thinking about that another approach that we had taken was we were just found all the children's books that we loved um the illustrations and we would reach out to the illustrators directly but mm. what we were really I would say really really early in the process 
when Tim sent that mural over the picture of the mural and again, we were like, oh my gosh, this guy is crazy talented. If this could work out, that'd be awesome. And it's really cool that it did. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, sorry, the kids came up and interrupted. There's always crying and <laughs> screaming and slapping and yelling and stuff. So, uh, um, no, so so it was it, very serendipitous, right? I drive up, I see a mural, we take a picture of it. Um, I send it to the girls, they're like, yeah, absolutely reach out to them. Uh, I introduce, get introduced through my brother to Derek and then uh and then we get on a phone call so Derek tell us about your background and then and then how Kev got looped into the whole partnership as well and um and then let's let's dive into like how to write how, how to illustrate the kids books and kind of what that process was like it's interesting yeah absolutely um and thank you guys that the was really nice uh I'm I'm so glad that you've you found me through the the Lakewood mural because I, I really like I lived in Lakewood for a couple of years and I just had such a, a great connection to that area. I just loved all the families that were in it. And so I really wanted that mural to kind of be about uh, like the kind of childhood wonder, you know, that kids have. And um, so these kids are basically they're, they're reading a book and then they're transported in their mind into like this this scene that they're in they're they're reading and they're also in the in the book basically um but they're out on like lake erie right yeah yeah. there's lake erie there's like this yeah there's like this little monster out in lake erie it looks kind of like uh, yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a little like fable tale kind of yeah it's it's really really cool um yeah so um really i got started doing art just as a kid, you know, probably, probably like Kev, we, we were probably both drawers started out, but really, um, how it all started with, for me was in high school, I worked at an amusement park called Cedar Point and I did, uh, caricatures there. So I was doing caricatures there for the summers, you know, and there I feel even more than going to college. I, I really learned to pick things up quickly. Like doing a caricature of a person, you have like five minutes to draw someone's face. And, and you, have to, you have to use a marker that you haven't used before. And then you're also trying to translate someone's face into a, a cartoon. Um, so you really get to pick that, pick that up real quick. Like that, that's, you need to, you need to like make sales and, you know, there's all the other pressure from, you know, being a, a worker at Zero Point. So um, as a high school artist, I felt like I had, was thrown into it real quick. Um, did that for about eight years. I was doing it during the summers, even when I was going through college. Um, and when I went, went to college, I, I studied fine art, painting and drawing. Um, and that's where, you know, I, I kind of did some digital work. I did some, a lot of, a lot of painting. Um, so I have, I do a lot of different things if you, if you haven't noticed. So this is be my first children's book, but I do a lot of other paintings. Like I do encaustic painting, which is, uh, is painting with beeswax, um, like digital caricature still, um, I do, do quite a different a lot of different art, um, murals, but really Kevin and I kind of got together, was our like my fourth year as a caricature artist. Kev yeah. came from Texas, right? Kev came up from Texas to work at Cedar Point for the summer. And that's where we the basically- The company that we were working for. Yeah, the company we were working for. Um, yeah, so he was there just for one summer, and that's where we kind of became like best friends during that time. And that's where that's where it all happened. Uh, so then every every year between, uh, we see each other once a year now, basically, and it's it's usually at a international caricature convention. So uh, every every year it's somewhere different. Like it'll be in Vegas, or it'll be in California, or wherever. But uh, yeah, it's this international character convention where we get to hang out, draw with each other for like a week straight um, and just catch up. So we've been we've been friends for a long time doing that. But um, yeah, really, um, when I first like 
got this opportunity to do the children's book, I was like, oh man, I, I would really love to be a part of it. But I'm like, in my back of my head, I'm thinking like, Kev would be the best for the characters and doing the character design. <laughs> um, he just He just has that kind of awesome cartoony style. And I'm like, oh man, we've been wanting to work on a project together for the longest time. And we've talked about it. We've come <laughs> up with ideas that were like, oh yeah, we're gonna do this. Nothing happened. And, and, and it was like a constant thing. And we, we come up with new ideas of how we're gonna work together on something. But this project here is what finally made it happen. Um, right, I, I bring it, a, bringing friends and families together, yes, right? Since 2018, 19, whenever we started these things. <laughs> Good stuff. Only a couple of years doing that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kev, Kev, you're, you're out of Atlanta now though, right? Yes, yeah. And so are, are you from Atlanta originally or Texas originally? I'm from San Antonio, Texas. That's where oh, I was cool, born and raised and lived most of my life. Um, I didn't get to Atlanta until college. And now I live here. But yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Right, so so <laughs> when you got a phone call from, uh, uh, from Derek about, hey, these, this psycho called me up and, and wants to do some kids <laughs> books, what, what, what did he say? And like, how did the conversation go? So it was actually, together, actually. Yeah, it was in person. I was actually, um, so usually once a year, if it's not at the um, character convention, we'll visit each other. Like I'll go to Ohio or he'll come, they'll, him and his wife will come to Atlanta. Um, and so I was in Ohio actually at his house for the weekend. And um, that was when he brought it up. And um, he, he kind of subtly mentioned it at first. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool. But I didn't know if he was like serious or if it was like a legit thing, you know? <laughs> um, it happens all the time where like- Very illegitimate actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. much happens, so. Especially with artists, it happens all the time where it's like, oh, there's this thing, oh, never mind. Oh, there's this thing, oh, never mind. So I was like, oh, that's cool. And then, you know, I remember throughout the day he kept bringing it up. And I was like, yeah, like that's, that sounds awesome. And then I realized, you know, after like the fourth time he brought it up that, oh, he's, it's like a legit thing. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down if we can, um, if they're cool <laughs> with having me on, you know, then yeah, for sure. Um, so basically it was Derek would do all the backgrounds, illustrating the backgrounds and I would do all the character design. And um, that's how that day went. And it was really like, an easy decision. It was like, yeah, of course, it sounds. Did awesome. you guys ever think that you'd want to? You wanted to write kids' books? Um, we, we, never really had an idea of writing kids' books. Um, I, so I work for Carter's Inc., the children's clothing company. So I naturally do children's graphics, like shirt graphics. But in terms of children's book, I never really thought of that. Um, I took a course on it in college, um, and it was really fun, but. The writing part is the thing that I wouldn't have thought that I'd be able to do. So that's probably yeah. why. Yeah. No, it's it's cool. It's cool that you know the girls have their expertise. You guys have your expertise. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing my thing on the marketing and that side of things. So it's yeah. uh it's cool. Like we're all in our in our zone, right? And uh, cool. our genius zone. So let's dive into the books themselves. And so that this is one of two books in print right now. We're actually Ooh. delayed in uh, not delayed but like the printer has so many orders and stuff he's like it's going to take probably five or six weeks or what do you yeah. say four or five four to five weeks to get everything printed and then shipped out so if you did order books and you are watching this please be patient with us and thank you for working with us and uh this whole thing but this is one of two printed books right now that we got a couple months ago um and this is actually we made changes since then Looks sharp. The original. This is, yeah. The original. Um, yeah. yeah there, there were a couple of, but you know, what's like, here, let me pull up. Uh, you know, what's crazy about this is that you guys, and I had no idea. I thought it was like old school Disney. You sit in front of a drawing board and, and draw characters. Yeah. Right. And then you guys are like, oh no, we got the digital, you know, uh, versions, sketches ready. And I was like, what do yeah. you mean? And, and you guys sent them over and I was like, oh my gosh, you did all this on your iPad. Right. And yeah, so I didn't even realize that there's anyway. tools. Yeah, I didn't really even realize that there's tools to do that kind of stuff now. And it was like really, really fascinating to, to see that. So tell us about what, what does the process look like? You guys get our words, you know, like I know the girls, they, they sit down and they, they 
have their entire process on how to write the book. And then they break it down on like a page by page basis of, of uh, what they want to see kind of on each page. And then I assume you guys read that mm-hmm. and, and then try to convey visually what they're conveying in the, in the message. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. Where does it basically... start? Does it start with characters that start with the setting? Like talk to Ooh. me. Um, initially, um, I, it, I think it's, it was good to get the characters kind of yeah. solidified because I think Kev worked on that for a bit. I think even before I started, uh, you know, playing with how the scene was going to work, because I, I think it, it definitely helps for me to, to, to see who I'm working with to put into the scenes. Um, so when I'm doing the storyboarding, I'm really trying to, to know what, what visually is going to complement the words that are gonna be on the page? And what, is there mystery that needs to be, you know, when people flip the page, that there's an unveiling? That's that's other part of it too, that you're, you're trying to, to really connect um, with like the kids that are gonna be reading it. So it's really interesting, like putting yourself in like the perspective of, uh, of kids reading, reading the books too. But, um, yeah, starts out for me um, just really, really rough sketches of like what I, what I'm reading. Um, maybe that needs to be a two-page spread. Maybe it just needs to be a one-page spread. It just kind of depends on you know how, how many words I'm working with and what's really the most important thing that I want to show in the in the in the drawing. And then basically when we get the get the storyboard all all drawn up and it feels like it flows really nice. Um, getting like a variation of like you don't want every single picture to just be a Ford you want there to be you know different perspectives um, you know trying to capture like good lighting and and, and things like that that you don't think of Um, but I definitely don't think of those things right like (laughs) you guys hey that is your I think one of the my favorite things about the illustrations uh, besides how cute and awesome the characters are that Kev has drawn up the perspectives that um of the scenes Derek that you draw up are I mean I don't see them in children's these types of illustrations in children's books today so you are very talented when it comes to yeah drawing the different perspectives and it's just so visually appealing going from page to page throughout the book oh cool thank you I I wanted to add real quick too. I think that we kind of skipped over a part where we might come up with, we come up with a story and we break it up into the pages, but Aaron and I now go, okay, let's wait and go send it to Derek and Kev because they have had, you guys have had such great input on our stories. Guys, have you considered this? Oh, you know, I don't know. Do you want to say it this way? Like you guys really you've done more than just illustrate it, take what we said and do it. You guys have honestly cared about it and, you know, helped us along the way and made the story so much better along with the addition of the amazing illustration. So we appreciate you because we're like, hold on, let's wait, let's send it to Kevin. It just just goes with how talented you guys are because how our very first, we always have an illustration call. That's when the book is at the point where it's, um, the story and it's broken up into pages. It's it's good enough where we can have an illustration call with mm-hmm. as, and we can go through page by page. You know, as we're writing these, obviously you have a vision in your mind of you know almost like a play or seeing how it's going to go. Mm-hmm. So they are you guys are so talented to the point where we go through page by page with you guys and explain you know what we see for this scene. We don't know the lingo, <laughs> artist lingo. We don't know any of that. And you guys come back with incredible. Yeah, we're like, we're like, hey, get this feeling of Ford and Morgan. We want it to sort of be like this, like, yeah. and this little high five. And then you add some other stuff. Like we have the, like an idea. And mm-hmm. then yours, yours usually every single time turn out much better. <laughs> oh, no. So again, another kudos to you guys because you're very easy to work with and you're fun to work with and your, your talent is just amazing. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sidebar. <laughs> They're way more than just illustrators. And, and, and it is, it's so many more levels, right? Like I'm a very, a very literal type person, I think. Like I, I here's, here's what we want to convey. Here's the storyline. And 
here's a picture. Right? It's him looking at his, or, or it's him uh, um, sitting at his desk, right? And it's, mm -hmm. it's, the end of the school year is is over. And he's, and my vision is him sitting at his desk filing out, right? Or your vision is like an actual him sitting at his desk and not yeah. just a kid sitting, not a stick figure sitting yeah, yeah. At, a, at a box desk, right? It was actually like, as if you're in, in it, you're looking down at your own watch, drawing, getting ready for your, um, for, for the summertime. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, hey, we're there. Boom. <laughs> and then like vantage points and stuff like this yeah. of um, the big oh, bully yeah. on his bike. And, you know, it's just, there's right. a lot of different things that, you know, maybe like somebody in my, my mindset would be like, let's just convey it in the words and mm -hmm. just write it up. But we don't need to, right? Because there's so many things, so much more that can be told by the actual illustrations that it goes way, way, like so many levels deeper than just the literal interpretation of it. So mm -hmm. it's pretty interesting to see how that plays out. How they so, all work together. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, and the vantage points and the lighting and all those things. You had something, Aaron? I have a question for you guys. And maybe, Tim, maybe this is your next question, but just going through this whole process with us, obviously, you know, going through book one was a learning, um, a learning for all of us. Um, but having, you know, illustrated book two and now book three, um, what are some of your favorite parts of the process? And then what are some of the biggest challenges without, you know, without not working? it being us? <laughs> not, not being Please us. don't throw us um, under, the, under the bus. Well, under the <laughs> Just, you know. I don't know if that. Tim would artist, only pay me sooner or anything. <laughs> artist wise, what are your favorite and then what are some of the biggest challenges? So I'll go first on that one. So um, one of the big, I'll start with the challenges, um, specifically for me and Derek, since we don't live in the same place, it's all sent, yeah. you know, emailing back and forth. And, you know, he works on the backgrounds and I do the characters for each scene. The toughest part is probably, you know, doing one without the other. It's a lot easier for me to put in the characters once I already have a background, but obviously we're both working at the same time. So sometimes I'll have to like, you know, I, and I have a good representation of what the background will be based on Derek's storyboard, but I'll have to just do the characters for that scene and wait on the background later. Um, sometimes it's a scene that's really background heavy. So I'll we'll, we'll have to like wait on that, but um, that's probably the toughest thing, but even that's, not that bad and I, um, it, I think it's one of those things where like your greatest weakness can also be your greatest strength because I think uh, I could totally see how that can be chicken or egg type idea of like mm -hmm. what do, we do, yeah. do it first uh, but at the same time I like that you guys are both coming up with your own ideas for each one of the pages and I yeah. think it creates that much more strength to that page because we can take the the best of both right yeah right. yeah for sure yeah 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 it's kind of kind of cool uh, what's then, your favorite uh, part? Yeah, what's your favorite? My favorite part is like, so the most satisfying part is whenever um, I'm dropping, <laughs> it's just kind of similar, but when I'm dropping a character into a finished background that Derek's done and the scene is like coming together. So it's not just his background. It's not just my character. It's like, you know, the whole piece and finishing that page. That's yeah. the- like, Oh, this looks good. Yeah. This looks yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Cool. Derek, how my about you, man? Yeah, my favorite part is when, yeah, Kev does that and I didn't see any of that process. And then he just sends me every single page completely finished. And I'm just like looking <laughs> at it like, yeah. oh, all these are awesome. <laughs> like, cause yeah. I don't get the, he gets to see it, get to the finish point as he's working on it. I just send him off the backgrounds with like the, that hopefully he, he figures it out, you know, and makes, <laughs> make sure that, you know, they all work together real well. Um, but even that, it's cool, you know, like when we, when we get done, we still go through it again and like, oh, okay, maybe we should tweak some more things. Maybe we should change a little bit of this or that. So it's still like a conversation even afterwards. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say the hardest part, um, I, I well, one of my other favorite parts is doing the story, storyboarding. I just really, I really enjoy trying to like, it feels like I got like a oh check mark I, I got that page I feel real happy about what that what the words are saying with what I'm visually showing and I feel like there's no other way that it could be visually told if when when you mm -hmm. feel like oh I got it that's a good one yeah. um, it's a good feeling um, but yeah I, I do think as the, you're talking about that I'm looking at like 
at like this page, right? When his phone's blowing up, he put out his flyers <laughs> and all of a sudden he's like, like the phone calls are piling up literally like in the picture and you can yeah. visually can like, it's, yeah. it's just, it's done so well. It's really, really cool. Kev, Kev actually did that entire page with, with the, the phones and everything. He, I didn't oh. do anything on that page. It's amazing. That's a cool page. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I love it more and more every time I look at it, like now that we're flipping through it again. <laughs> Um, so, so, so one, one of my favorite, I want, I want to go like one of my favorite things, like there's, I, we're very proud of these books. We, we love them. We think they're really, really cool. Um, they, I think there's a lot of things that people don't realize are going to, are in mm -hmm. the books. If you don't hop on one of these Facebook lives or you don't know yeah. us or you're not like, but then you're like, you find these little, like Disney calls them Easter eggs, these little hidden mm -hmm. things that are in the book, you know? And, um, and so, you know, like our characters are named, are named after some of the titans of industry. So like you got Morgan named off after JP Morgan and up on her shirt, there's a little piggy bank, right? And so uh, you got, you got Andrew who's, who's named off to Andrew Carnegie, who was a big steel magnet. And he started um, the steel business because he developed the, the St. Louis bridge, right? And then um, uh, Rocky, Rocky was uh, John D. Rockefeller out of the that industry so he's got like a little oil thing on his shirt and mm -hmm. then and then there's these easter eggs in each one of the books and like in the first book um ford right he's the main character and uh off of henry ford obviously and he's like um the ford model t is like the the key thing for the ford by the way do you guys see the new ford bronco that's coming out yes oh yeah looks kind of <laughs> crazy right it looks awesome yeah it's um <laughs> Yeah, it takes like a, it's like a Wrangler-esque. And it's amazing that nobody's ever like come up with something that's like a Wrangler, right? right. Before uh, but you can take the doors off, take the top off. It's, it's pretty cool. Anyways, <laughs> side note. Um, uh, but the Ford Model T was like the original vehicle. Like it's the only vehicle that was made for the masses and was in one, one tone. But like we have an Easter egg on every page, like on this one, I'm going to give it away. But over... <laughs> over here on the wall it's like every every split you got to find the little hidden ford model t and sometimes it's like actually hidden into the grass kind of a thing in a green whatever mm -hmm. and other times it's like up here like oh i don't know if you guys can see it but it's on the wall you can see a little mm, bit yeah. of the ford model t and so i love that like my kids are right at the yeah. age where they're getting into like these books that are written for a little bit older than them probably well, i mean my, my my daughter penelope's five and i think they're probably five to eight years old but even though she's on the front end of this four, three, four, five years old, it gives them something to interact with on every single page, which yeah. is really cool. And whether the principles really sit in, the, the key here is like, like sharing the information and mm -hmm. them hearing it over and over and over again. And, and whether they're, they're consciously getting the thought principles and the philosophies from the book, or they're just sitting here and, and looking for the fun, like it's still being ingrained in them, yeah, which yeah. is really cool. So. Which it's cute. Um, Penelope did ask me, so obviously we've read both books that are, you know, illustrated to her. She loves looking for the little hidden Easter eggs and she goes, mom, what's going to be the one in book three? I can't wait. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, well, well, I'll tell you. She goes, I know it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> no, they love it. And then you got things like, oh, like uh, odes, odes to Cleveland. You know, so you got the Cleveland skyline over here. Yeah. And then, and then Mr. Edison, who's the engineer next door, and obviously off of Tem Thomas Edison, he's got little, uh, this was your guys' idea, but yeah. he's got little light bulbs on his pants, which is yeah. like super cool. Was, so that was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's funny, like coming up with the characters because we're like, we want, we want this to look like Mr. Feeney, right? That's what we and see in our head. head. And you guys. Yeah. Feeney. Totally <sighs> and and oh. all of our characters. Sorry, this is just a. I mean, uh, just did so much. All the characters in the book, obviously, the main characters, Ford, Andrew, Rocky, Morgan, all are named after people. But every character in our book, almost every character, is named after somebody, some titan in the industry, some important, you know, woman in women's history. Um, and that's, I think, another cool thing about the books in general is that we're not just, you know, kind of coming up with names. Um, we are trying to name them after important people that have meaning. Yep. Influential, yeah. influential people who did great things for the country, humanity, whatever yeah. it might be. So, all right. So let's let's get back to like the mechanics of illustration, uh, illustrating. So 
Um, we give you guys, you know, a couple pages of PDF. Here's what we think for page one. And we, we move the words around based on what you guys, you know, give we us feedback. Cutting, uh, we actually cut up quite a bit sometimes because of the visuals that you're right. You can tell the story better in the visual than we did in words. It wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, it's a work in progress. So you guys, you guys come up with the, uh, um, the storyboarding, then have an illustration call with mm -hmm. the girls. Uh, sometimes I'm on that, sometimes not. But you guys hop on an illustration call and you talk through each one of them. You guys go back to the um, the storyboard and kind of make a little bit of tweaks, ideas. I love that there's so many different brains that are all contributing to this because there's all these great ideas on every single page. Um, and then and then what's what's the next step? So the next step is um, you guys just kind of finalize that or or. Uh... Well, yeah. Um, well, Kev usually has to create some more characters. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's one part of it too. Um, and then from there, it's just Kevin and I are a little bit on our own. We divvy up, make sure that I, you know, like on this page, I'm doing this work for the background. You're going to do this part for the foreground. Yes. Yeah. Cause, cause sometimes it's a blurry line between yeah. <laughs> what's something I do and what's something Kev would do because like, like the table or chair, you know, it's, a little mid ground, not just background. We have to mm -hmm. like figure out who's going to do that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So we divvy that up, and then from there, I I start knocking out what I have to do, and then I upload it to the cloud where Kev can grab it and put it, you know, and and put his characters inside that. And then also, you know, it's it's not just so easy to just drop them in. Sometimes, you know, he's got to create some shadows or, you know, some ground for the character to stand in. Um, so it's, it's definitely, you, you know, there's some finessing that has to happen to make sure that the characters and the backgrounds fit together and not feel so separate. Um, but thankfully we, we both use like very similar brushes and, and pencils for digital pencils because mm -hmm. it's all done digitally. I know. Um, even it's though crazy. that the brushes look like a colored pencil or a gouache brush or something. So we, we've kind of figured out that we have this kind of almost colored pencil-y kind of um, feel to, to our work um, to, to, so that they both, and also the color palette. And that's something that, that Kev came up with a very awesome color palette that I use um, and then he uses uh, with some tweaks here and there. Um, but that also helps make sure that our colors just aren't completely different from each other. Um, so in the final product, they all mesh. Love it. Love it. Um, so, so uh, I think that what I'm taking away from this interview today is like Kevin needs to quit his job and move up to Cleveland, Ohio. That's what, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm getting. Funny right you now. say that because um, <laughs> I've been telling him that for probably the last five years. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. The great place. So uh, uh, cool. Um, Aaron, I, I loved your question before. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of like questions off that. So like, what's your guys' favorite book so far? You've done three of them. Mm -hmm. is is one of them did you enjoy drawing one of them from an illustrative perspective did you enjoy drawing one of them or was there more like tweaks and fun stuff that that came out of one of them or over the other so so far for me it's been so you know um book two was a lot of fun to draw just the book one was fun as well but it was more of a learning process like you said so we had a you know a little more experience coming into book two um and um are you getting that same feeling? Oh, oh so, so just so everybody knows, book two is uh, how to win class president and influence okay. your peers. I wasn't then, sure uh, if the title was out, so I was I was. Yeah, yeah. no, it's good. It's good. And then, <laughs> and then book three is power. What are we calling it? Power positivity. Power of positive thoughts. Power of positive thoughts. Um, so are you having are you having as much excitement or, or uh, um, do you like book three just as much or do you think it was more because of book two? I love the illustrations in book two. There's a lot of cool like uh, scenes that yeah. occurred in, in book mm -hmm. two that are that are not as common in like book one or book three yeah. even, you know. So looking at the storyboard for book three, I'm already excited because um, it, it, it's every book is different in like the yep. setting and outside, inside, school, gym, you know, home. 
And so um, book three look, looks, is already looking really good based on like this Derek storyboard. So it's gonna be yeah, there's a lot, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to vary it. We don't want it just to happen in school and yeah. um, at the kid's house all the time. So we're trying to think of it from our perspective of like, how do we mix it up? How do we go and have a scene in the gym or have a scene at the park or have a scene in the neighborhood or have a scene at a different neighborhood or at the hospital mm -hmm. and like so i don't want to yeah. give away too much from the future book yeah but, yeah um uh you know there's different different vantage points so it's um we're we're trying to think of it from your perspective yeah. too and then when you guys give us feedback mm -hmm. on on the storyline and everything it just it, it really works with um with what we've done so far so and it's pretty cool i want to say that that's I, again book one labor of love learning curve for everyone <laughs> But, yeah. I mean, but it came out amazing. It did. And then moving into book two, I feel like we've been able to jump into those, the issues that we, you know, just went, fumbled through in book one, you know, Aaron and I are thinking ahead because of illustrations and in the writing or in the page setup or, you know, oh, we need to add an illustrate. Okay. Because the numbers, the pages aren't going to line up, yeah. right? Let's add an illustration. Yeah. You know, I, I just think it, flowed so much more easily <laughs> book two book three and yeah. all the rest to come because yeah. we are all thinking about each other's parts now and we exactly. understand kind of what's all going on instead of just you know obviously doing it the first time so yeah sure. okay so uh, guys i have a i have a question for you um just because i mean obviously our mission is so important to us you know we want to instill these success principles in kids and just you know make them feel motivated and that they can follow their dreams and reach their goals so like for you guys i mean you're artists right so i'm assuming this was your dream this is what you wanted to do in life this is what I, hopefully <laughs> this is what you're doing so like what advice would you give a kid you know who wants to be an artist or you know wants to follow their dreams what would you what kind of advice would you give them having done it yourselves? Um, well, yeah. for me, um, I know everyone always says, you know, you're, you're talented, you're talented, but I feel like I've worked really hard at it too. You know what I mean? Like, so I think there are so many people that are so talented, like even other artists that I see like so much potential in, but they need to work at it. So I think it's, it's nurturing what you, if you love it, really go all in on it and make it happen. You know, you have to, you have to figure out a way to make it happen. So, yeah, I, I think, I think, um, I, I a hundred percent agree with that. Like, like you, you might be talented or have like the, the base knowledge or the base, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, visuals or yeah. it, mechanics or whatever, like, and you, maybe that comes a little bit more naturally, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to practice, right? Like mm -hmm. LeBron James goes to the gym every single day and practices <laughs> yeah. his, like, and they call him talented. Well, it's because he practiced more than anybody else. And, th and then it comes naturally. So it seems like a natural talent versus something that, that can be trained and stuff. So, um, no, I, I, I think that's a like great point. Artists with, with being an artist, you know, doing it so often, if, if you love it, but it doesn't feel like work. So you are practicing, but it's you doing what you love. And it's not like, you know, frustrating or constantly, yeah. you know, laboring. It's doing what you love. No, I love it, man. That's so awesome. um, okay. um, did we, did, did they see book number four yet? Or am I the am I the bottleneck here? You're the you're the yeah, you have to finish reviewing book four. <laughs> that up. All right. Um, now it's out in the world. So I will. I'm gonna teach. That, I'm gonna that one's gonna be cool my too. My favorite so far. Book four is my favorite I thus agree. far. So I'm excited to get that process rolling. It'll be even cooler once we see the illustrations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I want to yeah. see Ford go camping. I want to I want to be in the woods okay. and, and and draw a camper. I really want to. All do right. That. Yes. <laughs> like it. All right, for book five, and we, as we start to uh, brainstorm, can we let's see if we can work that in there? <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, we, we did talk about that. We're like, hey, we need it, you know, like out in nature, right? Yeah, and yeah. Be, doing that, that, that kind of stuff. Fun. No, that's good. So, um, cool. So, any any closing thoughts? Any parting wisdoms, uh, Aaron? That was a great question, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Hmm. I I don't I don't really have 
anything more. I mean, I just really love this whole process. It's become, you know, so fun to kind of work with all of you. Um, it's been really cool. I mean, I'm, I know Kevin and I are just really, really thankful that we, we yeah. have the opportunity to, to, to work together on something. And then we also get to, you know, work with you guys on, on making these books as good as, you know, as possible. I mean, we're equally as invested now too. You know, mm -hmm. you, you have your vision for, for the books and we have visions too, but now they've become, you know, a joint kind of vision now. Um, especially now that we, we have the main characters, everyone in the first book out there, we have a, we know what the future is going to kind of look like for at least, you know, for the next books a little bit. So I think our, our vision's more aligned now. So I think it's, it's exciting. No, I love it. And, and we're working on other, other stuff too, right? So it's not just the books. Like we have the coloring books that are coming out, oh, yeah. the puzzle books and, and some of that, that you guys are helping us with as well. And um, Kevin, I don't know if you, get, don't have, if you have like a non-compete or anything, but we might I be designing I, some t-shirts as well. I don't know. <laughs> I might, I'll have to check with Carter. Oh man. <laughs> you guys, I, I do have to let on a shame, uh, not a sh yeah, a shameless plug um, because you guys are so talented and you have all your products and all of your designs and your artistry is on your website. So it's Derek-Brennan.com and it's KevJax.com. So go to their websites there. They have incredible talent. Yeah. I want you guys to do some murals for me. I just, I just can't take you away from this project yet. So <laughs> we have more work for you. Believe yeah. me. All right, that's great. <laughs> no, it's going to be good. So Kevin, how about, how about you, man? Any, any uh, closing thoughts or yeah. uh, excited about the books or tell me what you're, what you're, what's going on? Yeah, your definitely head. excited. Um, and just to kind of piggyback what Derek was saying. Yeah. I mean, uh, we really are thankful for this whole opportunity and also for you guys, it's not always easy to work with clients as an artist. Um, it just depends on, you know, how it meshes mm -hmm. and you guys are great to work with. And so accommodating and understanding of the process. And I just want to make sure you guys know that it's not always this, it, it doesn't always go this well uh, as an artist. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. We're, like, we're, uh, I, we, we don't want to step on any toes, right? Like we're like, <laughs> these guys, like we love their artwork. We want it in our books. So like, how do we make sure that, that they're happy and they're, um, they get what they need and we're kind of on their timeline and giving them good feedback uh, quickly. And so that's, that's something that's really, really important for us. Yeah. yeah we're yeah. happy. You guys as well. Erin, <laughs> any, any other closing thoughts, Kate, any other closing thoughts? No, I just, mean, yeah, no, you go ahead. Yeah, just excited for everyone to see book two and book three that's being illustrated right now. And then many more to come. So I think you guys, not only are these books, do these books have great, um, messages uh, for our children, but again, the artistry in the books is incredible. So, if, if not for the for the pictures, yeah, the inspiration <laughs> of the photos for sure. Yeah, um, I'm piggyback everybody. I mean, it's an amazing. It's one. This was amazing to learn about. I mean, I'm not artistic, so the process, the Derek moving things around, deleting, at it, like just showing us how <laughs> he does the work is like mind blowing. Um, yeah. It, they're beautiful. They totally complete the book. Yeah. I mean, but the book's coming too. I mean, it is just ties it up in a bow. Um, and they're just so cute. And I'm just so proud of them too. So I think, I think this is one of my so like, thankful that I mean, and your ideas that you add to it. Yeah, there's always like a page like this oh, at the yeah. end that conveys the uh, the overall message of the book. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a cool one. That might be one of my favorite. Like, yes. I, I really, I really like that idea of like the words kind of mowed out into the grass. Yeah, yeah I think so it looks cool. awesome, and I think book number two looks awesome too. Like mm -hmm. for what, yeah. what that one is. This is I love this oh, one. I, <laughs> like, like, I think there's some really really cool stuff in here. So oh, now, awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys and appreciate all the hard work that you've been. Uh, and I appreciate you dealing with us, you know, and our oh, incompetency in this whole process. <laughs> and, um, and fortunately, book one took us about a year to write. Book two, only about six months, right? Book yeah. three, I think we're going to slam out in like yeah. three months. And then book four and five, we're going to be done in like yeah. 
it's going to be like a 60 day process. They're starting so. to sweat. They're starting to sweat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now I got these, these uh, uh, insane timelines that I've set for everybody to put constraints to get these books out. And, um, and everybody's rising to the, the occasion. It's, it's, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> It'll work out. No. We'll get it done. No, I'm excited. The idea is have a whole book series, five books by the end of, um, or by, by Thanksgiving timeframe. So that way they're available for Christmas and yeah. gift giving and all that stuff. So we're, uh, no, cool. we appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the hard work. Thanks for all the insights. Yeah. And uh, that, there he is. <laughs> tell, tell him I said right. hello and I, and I have some cupcakes for him, right? <laughs> um, uh, that's, that's inside joke. So uh, no, appreciate you guys and thank you for everything that you guys do and um, excited for to continue the process and keep things rocking and rolling. So uh, awesome. have an amazing weekend. Uh, book book one officially launches tomorrow. So um, it's gonna be available, but it's still on kind of like uh, pre-order kind of a thing because uh, they'll, they'll get shipped out probably or right around mid um, August. And which is actually right thereafter is when we're releasing book number two is like a week after that, two weeks after perfect. that. So this is perfect yeah. timing because it just started to rain. <laughs> oh, no. No, right. I stay out there. I have, yeah. some more to say. I have some more to say. <laughs> I'm like, all right, bye. Good stuff, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys. Have all an right. awesome, awesome week. Excited to work with you. Thanks, guys. And uh, thanks for all that you guys do. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. All right. See Bye. you guys. Later. Bye.